you guys it's Melanie from hometown paints and I wanted to come on here live today and paint a little cute little Easter carrot with you guys let me check and see all right there's that let me get this set up there we go so I can see your comments all right so I just have a little canvas here I think it's I don't know the measurements I'll try to figure that out for you guys but I'm just not drawing it out I'm just grabbing some paint and kind of making a shape like a carrot I'm using an angled brush I'm using craft paint and you know carrots aren't perfectly perfect so it's okay for it to have a little wobbly line I'm using an angle brush today and I started with jack-o-lantern jack orange with um, deco art paint and sometimes when you use orange paint not sometimes a lot of times it is not very opaque it's kind of see-through so we are probably gonna have to do this twice which is fine so something you could do was use different kinds of orange paint you could use craft paint you could use like heavy bodied acrylic paint you could do this in watercolor if you wanted it's the same concept um, or you could do like I could pull out a different color orange craft paint and mix that in with that orange paint all right so I'm gonna change colors so I'm just gonna put my brush in the water and I'm gonna get out two different greens I've got a desert cactus which is deco art and then I've got arbor green which is apple barrel which is just a good old Walmart 50 cent paint so if you come on um, say hi to me tell me what you're doing today keep me company Let's see, I'm gonna dip into a little bit of both and just kind of make like a squiggly line up here. And the good thing about painting, as always, if you do it and you're like, that's awful, I hate it, why'd I do that? You can paint over it. <laughs> I'm still just using that angled brush. I made sure I got all my um, orange out of there. I'm not loving that light color, so I'm gonna add some dark back in there. Let's see how that looks. So, do you guys already have your Easter planned? Are you gonna? Opie! My dog is mad at the world. Opie! Get over here! Alright, I'm gonna close the blind so he'll shut up. Never fails, y'all. Every time I get on here, he wants to bark. All right. Hey! I should have put him outside. It's actually a really nice day here. All right, I think my orange has dried a little bit. So I'm going to go back over it. Well, it's not dry enough. I'm going to use the blow dryer. Okay. 
so because orange, orange and yellow, there's a few different colors. Every time you use them, they're just going to be a little bit see-through. A little bit transparent. So, depending on the look that you want, you will sometimes have to do a couple of coats. Now, if you're using heavier bodied acrylic paint, like artist grade acrylic paint, not the craft paint. Um, it's going to cover better. That's just how it works. But you still might have some areas where it can be a little transparent. But whatever you have will work. Um, you can do this with any kind of paint. You can do this with any sort of art making material. All right, I like that a little better. It's a little more. Consistent. Now I'm gonna go back over with my green cause I'm not loving how that is either. And I don't know, I decided I like the dark green. So I'm gonna go back over that a little bit. Not every single bit of it, just go back over it in places and what's good about having that paint that's kind of transparent is that in cases like this when I go over it with that one layer you can still see what's behind it and it still has a I don't know it has some variation all right so I'm going to put some fun things on the carrot, but while we're letting this all dry, I want to add, today I'm wearing a black and white striped sweater. <laughs> so I wanna add some black and white stripes to the background while this is drying. So I'm still gonna, I'm gonna try to do this whole thing with just this small little angled brush. Um, you can do this a few different ways. If you are super particular, you can get a ruler out. Um, you can use tape. You can use like painter's tape and section your lines out. Or you can just not worry about it and wing it, which is what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just using the edge of the brush. I'm not laying it down, it's just the very edge of it. And then I'm using it to like draw a line. And I'm not moving my wrist, I'm moving my whole arm. All right, and then you just need to decide which lines are black and which lines are white. <clears throat> and every time I paint on a canvas, I like to paint the edges. I know sometimes that makes these videos a little longer, but You, you don't have to paint the edges, but if you don't and you hang this up on your wall or um, I don't know, even if you lean it on a shelf, you, you'll you see it and it'll probably bother you a little bit. So I'm going to skip one and just go over to this line. I'm going to get real close to my green. And see, I can see right here that those lines aren't the same size, but it's okay. Doesn't have to be perfect. So, do you guys have anything exciting planned for this 
Tuesday. This is birthday week for us. Um, we have my husband's birthday, which is Thursday. And then my youngest son's birthday is Friday, the next day. So, it's birthday week. <laughs> Anybody else doing anything exciting? I have exciting news. I found out for sure that I get to be a vendor at the Strawberry Festival in Portland. Um, that is in May. And I've never even been there. Um, but I've always wanted to go. I love strawberries. <laughs> so I've got excited just for that. But that will be something that I'll be working on for the next few months is getting ready for that. So I hope you guys... Let's see, it's March the 8th in Portland, and I will be posting more info about that once I get it, and I will definitely um, invite everybody, love for you to come, stop by and see me, have fun, I think they have concerts and a 5k and a parade and just all kinds of stuff, so if you feel safe getting out, by that point in May, hopefully we all feel a little safer by that point, then I'd love to see you. I just need to paint every day. <laughs> it's something that gets you out of your funk, I guess, if you want to say, if you're in a funky mood and you don't have any energy and you're just feeling kind of blah, just get out what, you know, your paint or something to draw and color with and do this along with me. Just grab some paper. That's what I'm here for give you a little creative break in your day and it really will help you out because um, I don't know it just kind of gets your mind off of everything that is going on because you have to focus so much I think on doing this the right way <laughs> and time will just kind of fly by all right so there's that is still looks kind of plain though doesn't it um, I'm gonna give it a second to dry and then I'm gonna look for a stencil. I have a whole bunch. I don't knock everything down in the process. I'm looking for a stencil that's a pattern. So let me see what I have. Look through everything. these um, like mandala stencils that I can use as a pattern let's see might do that um, all right close your ears I'm gonna blow dry this turquoise the Laguna from Deco Art and I'm just going to put a little bit on here which seems weird right um, I think I might I think I want a gold maybe I use gold glitter 
What do I want to use? I've got this metallic splendid gold. I think I might use some of that too. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this down and I'm gonna make sure that I don't go into the black and white, okay? Um, and I said I would use the same brush all the way through, so let me do that. I'm gonna make sure I get all that black out of there. I'm gonna really squish it around out of my cup and then wipe it on my paper towel really good. And I don't know what this is gonna look like, so here we go. <laughs> So I'm not going to get it everywhere. I'm just using a little bit of paint. And y'all, if this looks bad when we get done, guess what we can do? Paint over it. That's what we do. So I'm just kind of pouncing up and down. And what, Sam? Oh, I want you to find a metaphor in this piece of ancient literature. It all sounds like a metaphor. Well, can you give me a minute? So, that looks kind of crazy, doesn't it? All right, let's um, put it down here and see what I can get down here at the bottom. It just gives it some texture, it just gives it some variation. Okay, so if you're like, that's too weird, I don't like it. <laughs> it's okay. I'm gonna squirt out some of this gold. Put some of that in here too. Let's see what happens. So I love painting, obviously. Um, you could even get some orange too and put some orange back in there. All right, I'm gonna wash that out. Everybody's coming in the kitchen at the same time. <laughs> All right, I'm going to outline this a little bit. I guess you just do something, do it because it's fun, don't take it too seriously. some up here in the green and then I'm gonna I'm gonna take some white I haven't used white yet you could use white and go ahead and paint your canvas right there but you don't have to you want those little highlights in there
and something I'm gonna do, let's see. I'm gonna use the palette knife and take some of that blue. I'm getting on the back of my palette knife. I'm just scraping it into the background. So it's a little messy. Um, let's see, what does I want to do? Do I need to put some of this up there? A little bit? Does it need white? Just eyeball it, guys. Just do it and see what happens. You might hate it. You might love it. You never know. And something fun that you can do is use some twine or a little bow. Let me just... Ideally, we would use something bigger, but this is all I have. It's just sitting right here. Put that right there. How's that look? <laughs> so that's just a fun little Easter craft for you guys to do. Um, you're welcome to use um, any sort of material that you'd like to get that finished. Um, I did want to, let me see if I can turn this. Facebook's probably going to yell at me. I did want to invite you to... Um, this is tonight. You still have time to get in there. Um, it's just $10 and I will, you'll get a tracer and all kinds of stuff for this. And then I'll, um, there'll be also a video in there of me teaching it to you and showing you how to do every single step of this. So you still have time for that. It's just $10. And then there's this one that... Um, it's backwards, <laughs> but it is March the 25th. Um, there's a few different options. You can get a kit or um, just get all the stuff yourself. It's whatever you like. But I have those two things happening. Um, I want to just encourage you to have a good day and to paint and um, I don't know, paint along with me, have a good day. If you have any art questions, let me know. I'm here to help you. And I've got some big things coming up to teach you how to paint in the future. So follow along with me, practice, and I'm looking forward to bringing some more good news to you guys. Have a good day.